Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome to a hermit's look at Last Empire War Z. This video is brought to you by the fine folks who developed Last Empire War Z. And if you want to grab it, you can get it absolutely free for your iOS and Android devices. All you got to do is click on the sponsored link in the description below from your device, and it'll automatically take you to the appropriate download page. And don't forget, my hermits, every download and install directly supports me and my channel. So I thank you guys so much for your love and support. Okay, so what is this game all about? This is uh, similar in format to some games that I've played before in the past, some mobile games. You've got your different types of, uh, you know, buildings and such and so forth that uh, you need to upgrade. You build your armies and you only fight against other people. Um, right now, what do they want us to do? They want us to get 108, uh, 1800 per hour base food, which means we got to do a little bit of some upgrading of our farms. So I'm going to do that right now show you how it works you click on a farm hello you upgrade <laughs> classy <laughs> and then uh, i'm gonna upgrade immediately and that should get us pretty close like let's see we can uh my ipad's having that stinking thing where it doesn't want to move every once in a while uh right now we're at 1.3k and so we're just gonna go and upgrade our things because we need food in, <laughs> in order to do our things, uh, you know, feed feed our people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because Classic. that is a it's a resource we need in order to upgrade and train people and all that. So um, we're probably close. Let's see. Let's get it one more time. <laughs> Classic. Try to get them all up to like maybe rank three until it tells me yes. Upgrade. <laughs> Classic. Mm -hmm. And there we go. And then we get our rewards for it. So we get a whole crate full of food and gas and speed ups and such and so forth. Now let me show you some of the things that we've got around here, right? So we've got uh, we've got our main base, and this is the type of thing that we uh, we have to have it at a certain level in order to upgrade everything else within our within our place to a certain level. If that makes sense. So right now this is this base is let me look at the details it's currently level five base which usually dictates that the other stuff can only go up to level five roughly pretty much right and then we've got some defenders uh this is this little base is the warrior camp and so we can train some peeps right um and looking at it uh we can give them a train job see like if we want to make those guys the warrior camp has to be level seven um, I'm actually going to upgrade. We have liftoff. Yes, and let's go ahead and upgrade it. So you know how that works. It takes a little time for it to do its little things. Over here is the vehicle factory. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so that is where we can uh, make different types of vehicles to help us in our attacks on other places. And what else is really cool on this is I am in an alliance. Ha uh ha. -huh. And we can go through and we can see, like, Alliance help. Uh, I can send help to these people who are in my Alliance and help them build their things faster. So I'm going to hit help and help. And also Alliance wages because we I'm in an Alliance and you can join mine. I just joined, like, the biggest one I could find. Um, <clears throat> you can go through and as more points are being done because you're helping other people, you're getting more points, uh, you click on that thing and then it gives you some food, fuel. Sometimes you get... Uh, even extra bonuses, like you might get gems, you might get like upgraded, uh, like uh, heroes and stuff. It's really, really cool. I'm gonna look right here. Okay, we're saving food, which is very nice. I'm gonna ask for help there, so I've requested help to help me speed this thing up, and people will come and help me out as time goes on. There is right over here is where we can train uh, our. Uh, ranged people right so right now see right now it says we can only build these we have to get uh, we can get those guys with the little pistols pistioles um, once we get to level four so I kind of feel like we need to do that so because right now it's just at level two uh, but I can't do that uh, I don't think uh, unless I do an upgrade immediately uh-huh send some diamonds do it Cool. So I can I can actually bypass the uh, the fact that I'm I've already got some, one thing that's upgrading. You know what I mean? And it does look like people have helped me because it's already down to 17 minutes. So 
you can do all this. Oh, and then you see, like right now, it's got that little, uh, that little dude hand. That is a zombie. And you can go around and try to find the ones that are highlighted, and they give you the best stuff. So every once in a while, you can just kind of go through. And that is the whole gist of this game: is we're protecting ourselves from the zombie invasion. And so, for example, like if I hit this little guy, here comes the horde. And the more you do it, like, see, that wasn't so bad. The more you do it, the stronger the horde becomes. And so uh, you can use your little speakers uh, to, <laughs> to actually get them to come uh, quicker whenever you want. Right now, we've got uh, an arm supply, so we got a whole bunch more fuel. Hello. Okay. Um, and now we can go through, and it says we need to upgrade our, uh, our fuel system. So right now, I'm just going to do a little upgrade. Uh, let's upgrade it for free. Hello. Upgrade for free. And I bet we have to get a couple of these to to like level three probably. Let's try one more. Yes. Yeah, so now we got it. We're good to go. Hit it, and we have some speed ups, which speed ups are really important in this game because, uh, like for example. If we go over here, right, we have 15 minutes left on the thing. We can hit speed up. And I've got 33, no, I've got nine 15 minute speed ups. I'm going to use that. But oop. And now it's down to 44 seconds. And we can finish it up. If it, if it gets less than five minutes, then you can finish it up for free. So now we've got some dude hams. We can do some training. And what did it take? So that's a seven. I'm gonna say let's train up some guys. And we'll get another stack of defenders. Now over here, I'm gonna upgrade this. Give me a target. Let's I'm gonna upgrade immediately because I already have a whole bunch of diamonds. Now we're level four. And I will train. And now we can get some mold beta of those guys. So now those guys are gone. So that's kind of how it works. You just go around. You upgrade your, your people, and this is the base building portion of the game. Oh, dude, I had a guy come. I sent rescue survivors. Oh, we got a buttload of that stuff. Oh, that's great. These are like missions you can do, and you can just send them off, and they go and they do some stuff on their own. So, for example, like this one might be this adventure might be kind of good because it has know what that is so we go find out so send off a dude he's gonna go fly off and in nine minutes he'll come back and then we can get the resources so it's just another type of way to get different uh, different resources um, what else can I show you over here um, okay so we got the oh, we got ten diamonds because that's their salary nice um, because we are in an alliance so this is the alliance wages place you can log on, the more wages you receive because you are in a group. And that's the one thing I really like about this game is that it definitely benefits people who group together and play together, which I think is pretty cool. Um, all right, so it said it wanted us to kill, attack the zombies two times. So now we're going into the world. Ooh, gay. Okay. And so this is a whole different portion of the game. Uh, so if we, do this has a chance to drop basic resources, materials, 100 diamonds or more. Okay, so we will attack them. And you can do like a quick select, which I guess is just gonna send everybody and their brother. Uh, oh, we can pick a dude. Okay, that seems to be okay. And we tell them to march. And then off they go. So this is my city right in here. Dude, why did they send them all the way over there when there's a shuffling zombie right there can I attack too no okay so we can go to the Institute and see if we can okay recruit increase training speed oh that's nice and then we get some Alliance help so we've sent a request to speed up our uh, our research so everything basically that takes time to do you can ask your Alliance to help you out which I think is pretty neat Okay, so now, <clears throat> while these guys are trucking, can I click it? Oh, yes, I can. I can hit speed up. And, oh, okay. That takes a lot. That takes a lot of gems to do. 
I don't know if I want to do that because March time is 25%. Listen, I'm kind of an old old hermit miser when it comes. I don't want to spend all my gems on that, so I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm just going to let them do their thing. Okay, so if you look around, though, there's these different uh, veteran camps. Like, there's a group of survivors. So we can go and check them out. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, right. Forgot. Um, we could go and get them and get more troops for free. There's some food we could go and collect. Uh, what is that? Steel mill. Can't go grab the steel mill. This is another, another empire, another, uh, another base. It looks like because there's a Fafa leader. Free gift. No gifts can be given. Okay, we don't have that. Gray Wolf General Camp. Want to challenge me? You're welcome to try. No, I don't want to. And then all these ones that you see that have the little bubbles over them are <clears throat> are new places kind of like mine um, that uh, that they still have the little dome of protection on them. So until you actually decide that you're ready to go out and do some damage, oh, they're about to hit it. And once you decide you're ready to go and attack things, that's when that dome goes away. And you're kind of like, it's you're open for business. You know what I mean? It's like free, free rain, free season on stuff. Okay, how long we got? Oh yes, they've arrived. Get so attacked. Terramont? Terramont! <laughs> and you can see we got some vehicles and stuff. We got those because of, uh, uh, because we built that vehicle making building, whatever, whatever they call it, the factory. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Um, can I see what we got? Will it show me? I guess not until, not until it's time. Okay. So they will come. Let's go back into our home. And see what else. We've attacked a zombie two times. We got some things. Upgrade shelter to level four. So that's another one that we haven't really talked about. The shelters, when you hit details on anything and learn more about it, they <clears throat> allow you to assemble your soldiers so that training large numbers uh, uh, fast and easy. The world's full of zombies. So training zombie, uh, tr soldiers is very important. So it, this basically allows us to, uh, to train more and more soldiers so we have a bigger army, which I think is pretty good. Uh, so we get out of that. And it needs us to upgrade one to level four. We'll hit upgrade. I'll do it. Just because we're recording. Otherwise, I would just... There's no point in, like, spending gems on that particular one. So you could just, like, let it go for 15 minutes or however it takes. Right? Um, and then we're going to kill the guys. Kill it. And then we can do this thing again. Kill it! <laughs> Hit it! Oh, man, that's a big one. You destroy him. And then we can get our food. Balloon. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. So what's it say next? Upgrade the factory to level four. This is our factory. Get the old upgrade. She still's got it. And sure. I'll spin it. I like the characters. I still got it. And then we get the, the stuff. So every time you do a, a quest, so it's important that you do those quests to upgrade. And it kind of guides you. It shows you like what you need to do to upgrade things. So like we upgrade this little guy. We know that we need a mo better hospital because if we go there, um, it allows you to heal wounded soldiers. And so whenever they go for fights, the soldiers come back, they're wounded, so that's a bad thing. You know what I mean? So you need those hospitals to heal them up really good. Uh, so then, as you can see, we got more speed ups, more XP. We're slowly leveling up as things go. Give me that bread. See if you know what's good for you. And upgrade the shooter camp. So we did that while we were talking. Upgrade an oil well to level five. We will do that. Upgrade. And hit it. And so on and so forth. So I kind of want to see, like, let's go, let's hit. There's the alliance. Anybody need any help? doesn't look like it um we can go out into the world <laughs> i can show you the world uh i'm really curious like so that if we went oil well gathering mm -hmm. return home bring back okay so you send more people and you get more oil so that might be a fun one uh or we could do we could go grab some Maybe grab some bread, right? So we can hit gather, send everybody possible, hit a quick march, and they're bringing the truck. 
And dude, that's so cool. Look at this. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, you zoom in, he disappears. Uh huh. Today I learned. So then he's going off on the road again. I just can't wait to get on that road again. But the map is insane. Like, there's, like, the more you go, it keeps showing more and more stuff. There's ancient zombies, which are probably, like, a higher level. Yeah, it looks like they're, like, level 7 or 9. And it just keeps going and going and going. But you always see uh, <clears throat> where your little place is. And then now these guys are, yeah, you see the number is going down. So my people are gathering. And it looks like they'll gather for, like, 42 more minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, we're going to get so much, so much stuff. This is going to be great. And then we're going to return home. You see how it goes? Okay, now I want to look at city buffs. Oh, yeah, look. So our peace shield ends in 24 hours, so that gives us enough time to do our thing. Let's go back home. Oh, it's raining. I've not seen that before. That's kind of cool. That is really neat. Um, over here is our institute. And so we can go in here. We can do some research. And like, for example, under basic resources, we can go in and we can say, uh, I want to learn how to get more food income. So I'm gonna research that. Hit Alliance Help, so it'll help me out. And that's gonna do its thing. But then they, there's like depot expansion. So we can collect more, more resources as it goes on. Then you go over here, you have, will it let me click on it? We have to have an inst institute level two basic military so we can learn how to make our guys even more better and that's how it works just there's so it's so deep in all of the stuff that you can do and now it does take time this is one of those mobile games that it's not a quick play this is one of those where you sit down every once in a while and you go all right let's let's upgrade our base see what we can do about it and so it's kind of like a good toilet game. You know, you guys know me. I always talk about the mobile games as being toilet games. This is a pretty good toilet game because you can sit down in about five minutes. Oh, yeah, like see that guy came back, collect it, got our thing. And then we can send them off on another, another adventure, right? This is not too shabby. If you guys want to grab Last Empire War Z for yourself, you can download it for free on your iOS and Android devices. All you gotta do is click on the sponsored link in the description below from your device and it'll automatically take you to the appropriate download page. Don't forget my hermits, every download and install directly supports my channel. So I thank you guys so much for your love and support, but that's doing it for me. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Brush your hair. Ha <laughs> ha